to look good. It looks good. <laughs> All right. Should we turn this up a little bit so it's not so straight on the face? ambiance but not too much now it's just like not even there I think that's good <laughs> I don't want it like too distracting on my glasses alright this is kind of nice. I have my phone down here to kind of see myself, but... Alright. Welcome to Not Book Talk, YouTube Book... Book YouTube. I don't know. Um, I'm getting into reading. I need to stop with these hand movements, but I'm getting into reading, and um, there will be... Either the video before this or after this is going to be about this book. Um, but I'm just going to show you all these books that I got. All the books I plan to read. Um, yeah. So we're going to we're gonna look at the these. So this is the first one I already read. It's Girl in Pieces. I will have a video where I review this book. Um, Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glaslow. Glaslow? Glaslow? glass go I don't know how to say it but um yeah I will have a video where I, where I am um, review this but here's the first book that I got I just got it from Target all these books I just got from Target um, because I didn't feel like driving to the Barnes and Noble because it, I think it was more out of the way and then next one I got is normal people by Sally Rooney, and uh, this is the book that I'm currently reading that I just started yesterday, because I actually just finished this yesterday, but I started this one yesterday. It is, um, it's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. Um, but I should have known that because I remember when it first came out on Hulu as a show, and I, um, watched a little bit of it, but... Yeah, it's very, um, very slow paced right now, so it's really hard to read, and I keep having to just watch TikTok videos about it to try and, like, motivate myself to read it. This light is annoying me. So, um, yeah, we'll see if I get through this book. Alright. <laughs> Going great. And the next one is another book by Sally Rooney. It's Beautiful World, Where Are You? So I'm going to take the little sticker tag thing off. Um, life hack. If you want to get stickers off, don't waste your money on all those expensive sticker removal, whatever. Just use oil. Like vegetable oil. Any type of oil. It rubs the sticker right off. But you do have to wash the... If you do on the book, be careful. Make sure it's like not a cover that's going to like shred. And then like you have to take a little bit of soap and water to get the oil off. Um, but anyway, this is apparently one of her new books that just came out, I think. Um, it, from reading it, it sounds a little spicy as well, so we'll see if I like it or not. <sighs> yeah, I don't mind a few scenes here and there, but if it's just the whole book, then, like, that's just gonna be too much. But hopefully this one's good. Um, and then we've got, a lot of these are, like, kind of tiktok -y books. But, um, I saw this before I even knew it was one of those books, but A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Um, I'm not that big on mysteries, but I'm gonna try because it's popular and people say it's really good. The series is really good, um, trilogy, but yeah, it's by Holly Jackson. Um, gonna try and read this. This is probably gonna be like the last one I try and read because Girl in Pieces was such a, like, affected me so much that I'm just trying to look for light reads right now and it's kind of a mystery and I don't really feel like doing that right now. Um, another one I saw was Everything After by Jill Santopolo. Um, 
this wasn't as like a TikTok book. Um, um, it just seemed kind of interesting and just lighthearted. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and read that. That's probably gonna be the next one I try, maybe. Um, then I've got In Five Years. Um, again, all these have stickers on them. I need to take them off. By Rebecca something. The sticker is covering the name. Rebecca, Rebecca Searle. So this is about like, she's living a good life. And then she, for, let's see, what does it say? Mm. She goes to sleep and then she wakes up and she spends one hour, um, exactly five years in the future. Um, Five years in the future, she spends one hour there, and she's with a completely different setting and everything. So it seems very interesting, and then she goes back and then has to try and live life um, knowing the future, supposed future. I don't know, it seemed really good and seemed lighthearted. It was a very, it was a shorter book. Um, let's see, 255 pages. I was looking for under 300 page books because was something easy. And lastly, we have The Hating Game because I've heard very good reviews on this book. Lighthearted, easy read. Um, it's by Sally Thorne. This is also a show or movie on Netflix. I've been wanting to watch that, so I think I'm going to read this and then watch it. And this is going to be very controversial, but these like cartoony type covers, I don't like them. It's like it's not that, like, I hate them. I think it's just, like, something, like, that I've kept buried. That, like, I think maybe someone, when I was younger, used to draw in this style or something. And it, like, irritated me or I was jealous. So maybe that's why I hate the covers. I don't know. It's not in any way saying they're, like, bad drawings. They're, they're good. But it's just not my style. But I'm going to try and get past that type, these type of covers and just read the books anyway because I've heard... These type of books are good. Can someone stop honking their horn? I'm trying to record here. But yeah, these are the, the five books I picked up. Anyway, um, my camera died, so now we're here on my phone. But these are the five books I picked up and I'm gonna try and read for the month of March. And this is the other, the sixth book that I finished and you can go check out the review probably now on it.